What is up guys, I'll snort here today we're unboxing the Marvel Collector Core for this month. As you can see we have Animal Instinct as our theme and we just have some claws around the front so no characters or anything. So I don't know what to expect out of here, obviously you know animal related stuff so I assume something like Wolverine or something. But let's go you. ahead and open it. Um, okay so here on the top just the lid, just some characters. We have Rhino, Black Panther, Rocket Raccoon. And that looks about Baby Squirrel Girl, so there's just some different characters. So that's kind of what we can expect. Anything that's related to an animal. So we'll start with our shirt first. So let's go ahead and open it. I can't tell what it is yet. Okay, so here's the shirt. And so we have a Howard the Duck. I couldn't tell what that was at all. So it says Howard the Duck. There we have Howard the Duck. And then some character. I don't know what that is. Who this person is. But I assume it's probably like a sidekick or something like that. I don't know. I don't know anything about Howard the Duck besides that he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. But that's kind of a cool looking show. I like the colors and design of it. So that's cool. Then next up we have a patch for this month. And it's of Squirrel Girl. And of course it says Marvel Collector Core. So there's Squirrel Girl. And she has a little squirrel over here to the side jumping with her. Whatever she's doing there. Um, then we've got a notepad and pin set so we have one of the pop pins of rocket raccoon there and then we have a pet notepad with with rocket on it right there as you can see so it's just like sticky notes or something just yeah sticky notes you can just rip off and take notes and stuff on so that's cool that they put them together and that they go together both of rocket raccoon so that's really cool okay so it looks like that's it for those type items so we'll go ahead and pull our things so first up here we have a wobbler, which we don't get many of these at all, or we've never gotten them in these boxes. But it's a Black Panther wobbler. So um, I have a couple of these. I think we've gotten them from other stuff. But I know I have a Captain America and everything. So let's open it out and look at Black Panther here. I was confused with this because I saw it and thought it was a pop. And I was like, why is it so big compared to the other thing? But it's a wobbler, that's why. So there's Black Panther. So they have taller bodies, so they have like the pop heads. I mean, they're not as similar to the pop heads but they're pretty much that's what they are and then they have um like almost normal i mean they're not normal but like normal bodies compared to pops and stuff so as you see he has movement there and a lot of detail going into his armor and so he has the like armored claws which is probably hard to see on there and everything but it's just they put a lot more detail into these than they do the pops and i think they look cool but they're just um some of them kind of look weird they mostly do girls in these usually um but it, they have started to do more of the guy character stuff so that's cool we got black panther for that and then this is probably an awesome pop so our pop for the month is of rhino so this is super cool um rhino is one of my favorite characters from the spider-man villains set um so this is really cool so we have rhino here in, in his classic rhino looking outfits like the animal not like the mechanical ones he has nowadays and stuff but so there's his face there, just his angry face. And then he's got his rhino costume. So I like how they even have the eyes on there, the rhino eyes, then of course horns there. And this, like, I love the way they did this because it looks exactly like a rhino. So if you had like a toy rhino, it would be designed exactly like this. Mm -hmm. um, he has some like armor stuff, so it's, oh, it's hard to see, but like armor pads there on his shoulders. And then looks like maybe some stuff there on his chest as well. And then he's got the rhino type feet design there with the rhino toes. And I just think this looks super, super cool. I love this. It'd be cool if he was bigger, though. Like, maybe a 6-inch, because I always thought Rhino was bigger in size. But he's just the normal size pop. So, that kind of, um, I wish it was bigger. But, you know, they can only do what they can, I guess. They, they're they very selective on what they make in bigger sizes. So, it looks like that is it for all this stuff. We, again, did not get a um, card thing to know all the items or if there was um, some sort of specialty, multi-stuff, whatever. And the advertisement for next month we don't have as well. But unfortunately we did get the news that these boxes are going to be ending. Maybe that's why we didn't get a card. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get at least one more. Um, but yeah, they're going to be ending these boxes and they're going to be moving to an actual store. So you can get these, I assume, every other month still or whatever. But you're just going to have to go to a store and buy them and hope that whatever store it is that it's a common or popular store. But unfortunately, we are not going to be getting these much longer um, after this. But that's going to be it for this unboxing of the Marvel Collector Core. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings. And we'll see you next time.